Wow. How long are you planning to mope? Look, this thing with Lucky is really serious. It's gonna take as long as it takes. You're right, I'm sorry. I wouldn't wish that kind of pain on anyone. That's not actually true. I would on a few people. Yeah, well, the trouble is the people like that who deserve to hurt never do. They don't have my son's heart. Speaking of your sons, I had a chat with Ethan earlier. Something wrong with the Dodger? He claims he's fine, but it's pretty obvious to me that this uh, crisis with Lucky is having an effect on Ethan as well. Lucky, you got a minute? Sure. What's up? Uh, well, I realize I came a little late to the party, you know, but being the most recent addition to the Spencer clan, I'm a little unclear as to the ins and outs of what happened. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Elizabeth cheated on me. It wasn't her first time. This time it just happened to be with Nicholas. Yeah, well, personally, I'd love to kick Nicholas's ass for many reasons, but I mean, that's no way to treat your brother. Well, glad we agree. Look, I'm, I'm never going to be the guy who judges you for the way you deal with things, all right? Um, if you want to drink yourself into oblivion, I'll pour the cocktails, you know, and I might even pick up the tab every now and then. But... Uh, most importantly, I would just want to offer my services to make sure you get home safely instead of drunk or driving all around town and winding up in an alley somewhere passed out. Because you know, trust me, that's not fun. Yeah, maybe we can uh, compare stories someday. Well, you know, what do you think? Do you think he'll let me help you out? What makes you think Ethan has a problem? I think he's feeling neglected. He made a comment that you and Lucky, now that you're so close, you have less of a need for him. Don't misunderstand. He knows that Lucky needs to be the focus of your attention. Well, I just think, you know, in general, Lucky's more vulnerable than Ethan is. You know, Ethan's got thicker skin. He was on his own and protecting himself for a long time, and uh, he, he inherited a nice, healthy dose of my cynicism. Lucky, on the other hand, loves fearlessly and uh, wants to believe in people, wants to trust them, and that just leaves the door open for this kind of pain. So maybe you want to talk to Ethan. Yeah, I will. I will. Thanks. You're a very wise woman. Did you know that? You did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so have you got any sage advice about Lucky? I promise, no lectures, okay? It's just a free pass to call me whenever, and I'll come get you and get you home, okay? No questions asked. Thanks, Ethan. I uh, appreciate that. It's very generous of you. I may even take you up on it sometime. We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh -huh. I'm actually a little surprised that you'd make the effort, considering what a jerk I was when you first hit town. Oh, you weren't that bad. Yeah, I was. It was wrong of me to question your motives. You know, like, who am I to judge, you know? Okay, so you're not perfect. Neither am I, you know? We have that in common. <laughs> whatsoever to see you. Talk to you later. I just wanted to ask him about the kids. They've really been wanting to see him and I have no idea what to tell them. 